please vote for James. He is the greatest. Please vote for James. For a free Pinellas. Yeah, I got on ladies' glasses. Because my wife had these in the car. I tried them on because I didn't have any. And they were so damn comfortable. I'm like, I'm going to keep these. And you ain't going to do nothing about it. Because I'm a man. And I'm bigger and stronger than most women. Most. But not all. John's a sexist. John's a real chauvinist. Who wears ladies sunglasses? So we're out here tagging again. And uh, the pressure washer is being a little pecker head. It's not wanting to run. So we'll see what happens. All I know is when this is all said and done, give me some Popeye's chicken. That's all I know. All right. So now we're at uh, 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 Advanced Auto Parts because the pressure washer engine started backfiring and going <laughs> Why are you shaking your head, dude? You look like an idiot. There he goes, he's pulling us over. What is this guy? I'm sorry? He's well within his rights to do this, sir, under sign law. He's done all the, the research. Okay. So if you'd like to look that up. Hey, do you know the code offhand? He knows it all by heart. I would be interested in that. I, I know that it is, it's a uh, public property. Well, this is public, it's public property, but right, it's, right. it's, it's city owned property. It's that that makes it public. That That's what public, public means, property. exactly. Taxpayers so, pay for it, well, us. Well, when it comes to, to signing and stuff. This like is not that. a sign, sir. I know, you're, you're, you're pressure washing. I exactly. Understand that. All right. So what's the issue? Why are you blocking traffic? Instead of pulling in somewhere safe. Well, at this point in time, he's standing out there with traffic going by, so I didn't want him to get hit by a car. Oh, so you did it for us. I did it for safety well, We're reasons. perfectly fine, so, sir. But uh, We don't need your help. So you could stop blocking traffic and let the people go freely because there's a non-issue here. Unless you're trying to create one. No, I'm not trying to create one. All right, let's make sure of that part. because we're not doing anything unlawful. We're well within our rights. Hey, how you doing? Hey, how you doing? Hey, Nicholas, please meet you. Uh, yeah, I'm just checking into the, the whole thing that you're doing here. I went by and I noticed a uh, lot of cars. Right? Well, a lot of cars had to veer around you to go I, around you, so. We have an audio. Well, I had, I had to go around you, too, so I'm like, wait, you actually, let me get, let me get No, back. you made a U-turn. You didn't go around anybody. So, let's, 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 let's not embed. Yeah. No, no. That, He's that, trying to escalate we're, since we're, he got out of the car. I'm not trying to escalate nothing. It sure sounds like it, sir. Here's the bottom line. So you're blocking traffic. I can legally block traffic because right now I'm looking into something. What are you looking into? I was protecting him from getting hit by cars. That's nonsense. So, Castle Rock versus Gonzalez. We don't need your protection. Get that because he says I swore to block traffic. Get that on your Yeah, let's see. You're blocking yeah, traffic. You're creating a dangerous situation for no reason. We're, we're within our rights. There's nothing you can do about it. Well, that's what I just wanted to check into. Well, why don't you do that on a computer instead of harassing us? Would you like me to explain why? You. Yeah, you are. You're blocking traffic. You're pretending like we don't have the right to do this. Under St. Pete's sign law. What I'm doing is legally classified. I already told him. Which means it does not apply to sign the ordinance. Hi, how are you? Besides artwork. beautiful. Artwork? Yes. Okay. I said besides and beautiful. Free, free the first What's order. going on? And, uh, are we in your way? Yeah, yeah we're going to move right now. Yeah. We apologize. Thanks for stopping by. All right, Take man. Care. Go ahead and look it up the law. It'll, it'll help you. It'll behoove you to know the law. This is a whole new it'll, be it'll behoove you to learn the law. There you go, buddy. Don't make a fool out of yourself.
Well, there you go. Some idiot with flashers. Thank you, sorry. Time to tag Cox Media Group. So we asked this lady for permission. She said, yeah, go ahead. And now she's on the phone calling somebody. There's another guy here. Looking all sideways. Now that'll really piss him off. And we're in front of the Cox Media Group. Cox Media Group. Doing them the clinic for sheriff. The lady back here told us uh, it was all good. A little bit of campaign artwork for Drew. And he's a big fan. I Who? He'd appreciate for Drew Garabo? Yeah, I, I thought he'd appreciate it because he's oh, such a big fan. What a nice guy, that Drew Garabo. There you go, Drew. Vote for McClinnis. Don't let his followers influence your decisions unless you don't have any critical thinking ability. So like, I don't have a problem or anything, but like, um, what are you guys doing over here? Like, is this legal? Um, do you have permission? Like, cause this is like BP and her property and you seem like really nice. Mr. McClinnis, can I have your phone number? Okay, bye. Ba -ba -ba -ba. We loving it. McClinnis. Not McDonald's. McClinnis. Not McDonald's. McClinnis. Hospital. Hospitable. Hospital. Hospitable. sitting here in this no parking zone. You wonder why I say they're sovereign citizens. No parking anytime. You see that it says no parking anytime. But when you're a sovereign citizen, you get to do whatever you want. Car number 1941, plate number XH4284. So again, if you're a sovereign citizen police officer, you get to park wherever you want, that's one of us, we get our money stolen. All you gotta do is go out in the city and just find hypocrisy everywhere you go. I'm 
You saw them take it off? They didn't want to put out to get over there. Yeah. No, they had, uh -uh. Yeah. They they took it off the back seat, of the bed. They took it off the back of the bed. They took it off the back of the bed. Yeah, McLennis. And they only cleaned the top half of the bench. They, they were not cleaning the bed. They didn't clean the whole bench. Isn't that ridiculous? So you heard it from the locals. Uh, they're going around cleaning off his campaign art. That, that goes to show you it wasn't about getting the bench clean, was it? It was no. about silencing me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, yeah. the reason they're upset is because I'm going to end cannabis enforcement here in Fidel's County. All of it. Meaning you can grow it, smoke it, buy it, sell it, go to the beach. Anywhere you can smoke a cigarette, you'll be able to smoke up. Another thing I'm going to do by ending cannabis enforcement, I'm going to save $100 million that we currently waste on locking people up for personal use drugs and cannabis and homelessness and open detainment and all that crap. It ends with me. It ends with me. I like you already. Then I'm going to take that $100 There's nothing not to like about this guy. I like him already. Tell him about the homeless thing. Well, then I'm going to take some of that $100 million and we got a whole bunch of county land around here that's not being used for anything. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put tiny homes on it. You ever heard of tiny homes? I know. I've seen them. I've seen them. Very small, compact homes, but they got a bed, kitchen, a bathroom. I don't know. I heard of it. Somewhere you can lay your head at night. Yeah. You'll have an address. You'll have electricity. You'll have a clean shower. You'll have a place where you can go and be safe. Be safe. You'll also have a community center where you can access public services where you can apply for social security. You can apply for benefits. You'll have an address you can receive mail at. You'll have access to a computer. And you, and you run Except they're not going to be tents. They're going to be actual homes. Like, what are you running for? I'm running sheriff. for sheriff. Of sheriff. 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 The big guy. The the you man. The one. The truth. <laughs> the salt of the earth. I'm sorry. And what, what, is, what, is, the, what is the previous sheriff name? Galtieri. Current sheriff. How many times he put you in jail? <laughs> for real. How many times <laughs> over, man? How many victims have you created? Man, no, no I, I don't, I don't mean to jail about 15 or 20 times. <laughs> but it's just over container, trespassing. So no victim. No victim. No, no, no victim. So they put you in a cage for hurting no one. This guy will not enforce crimes like that. That ends okay, all of that ends with petty, man. That don't make no sense. City well, ordinance. they make money. No, but I understand that. But that's the city ordinance. I don't care. And these police are just... Well, the I thing is... Because you got to hire you some police, too. Well, see, I'm and sheriff. you got to make sure that... I'm, I'm <laughs> sheriff. I'm not St. Pete Police, but let me tell you. Can I stop the St. Pete Police from arresting somebody? Well, absolutely. No. <laughs> but what I can do, they bring you down to Maybe my jail, not. and I say, I'm sorry, we don't book people for open container. Okay. Take them home to your house. No, but they don't do that. They don't do that when you go down there. They well, will. if they will, if he's the sheriff. I understand what you But when you go down there now... They say, it's got to be St. Petersburg police that bring you down here. You get That's some of the crazy shit. Yeah. But they still let him know you. They get, they, they get no, mad. They make me mad. Of course. I mean, I <laughs> open and you ain't doing nothing. My name That's is James McClendon. Spread, spread the word. There's a new kind of shit. I'm the mayor. I am mayor. No, when, when you hit a mayor, not, not your existing mayor. Your mayor. I'm just a name on the street called a mayor. Please please so I'm going oh, that's your nickname. Yeah, that's my nickname. John Felix, you ever want to John look me up? Felix. He's I on a Felix. YouTube channel. I know oh, Felix okay. Unger. Felix who, Unger? From the Odd Couple? Ma'am, gentlemen, <laughs> very nice talking to you. Thanks, right. guys. Yeah, have man, a good day. All right, guys. Have a good one, okay? Let's see you then. Sorry, do you want to spend more here? No, no, we're good. We got a wet board. We got a wet board. Well, guys, as you can see. Can I that video? Get a good video of that? I'm sorry, that's good enough. They went and erased our work. Just a square like idiots. They didn't clean the whole thing off. It's wow. Redo, redo it. it. Here we go. Going to retag. All right. So we're at the polling place. I don't know if I did this video already. And just in case, do it again. So they took down all his stuff. You see he had a sign there or artwork. There, there, there. So now we're just replacing it all because there's only one week left for him to get elected. He's going against some Democrat who just filed bankruptcy, can't control his own... Uh, personal finances but he wants to be sheriff they put him up against james hopefully he has no chance so he has to beat that guy he has to beat two guys this election so you see they taken all the stuff down that said mcclinus there they came and erased it we put a new one up and another one another one all the way down and notice they didn't touch any of these other campaign signs these signs are actually under the campaign law as signs these are not even signs they're just pressure wash stencil 
which leaves nothing behind except the message. But they couldn't handle the message at the polling place. They let everyone else who's a mainstream douchebag run. But if you're not a mainstream douchebag and you actually want to change things, this is how they treat you. This is like Ron Paul running for sheriff, basically. They're trying to marginalize James. Nah, he's just tagging it extra hard now. Extra, extra hard. Look at this. People are sick, man. Sick, sick people. You should be ashamed of yourself violating the law. So as you can see, they did the same thing on the opposite side of the polling place. You erased James's tags, but left the, the campaign signs out. So now we're going to read that. Erasing my signs, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually put a BLM on the sidewalk, and then we're going to see if they erase that too. This will be the second BLM you put up. <laughs> now, let's see if they erase that. See if it's the message, not the messages. 